Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn how to recover accidentally deleted slash boot partition contents. I am going to recover slash boot partition content using CentOS ISO image. In my case, I have chosen CentOS 7 operating system. This video is especially I created for the learning purpose. Do not delete slash boot content in your running production system. This is my CentOS Linux operating system. I am having the CentOS version 7.9. So, for the educational purpose, I am going to remove slash boot content rm rf star. Now we can see there is no content inside the slash boot partition. So, let's reboot the system. You can see here after reboot, my system unable to found the bootable information under the slash boot partition due to which it's stuck in the grub rescue mode. Now I am going to show you step by step procedure how to recover the slash boot conditions to bring up the system. These are the technical steps I am going to perform to bring up my system into the normal state. In my case, I am having the Linux VM which is hosted on the Oracle VirtualBox. So here I have to attach the ISO image on my faulty VM. Then I need to change the BIOS port order to boot up the system with the CDR DVD. Then I need to choose troubleshooting option after booting my system from the ISO image. First step, I need to power off my faulty VM. For that, I'm going to click right click, stop and power off. The next step, I need to attach the ISO image. For that, I'm going to choose settings. Just remove this, just click this icon. We need to choose ISO image. Then click OK. Also, we need to change the Bias boot order. For that, again go to the settings. Go to the systems. Here, my boot order is hard disk is the first. I need to change this into the first. Then click OK. I need to power on the system. Now, my VM booted with the CentOS ISO image. Here, I have to choose troubleshooting option. Then press enter. Next step number two. Here we need to choose rescue as sent OS. So in this option we need to select, then need to press enter, then type 1, press enter to continue. Now system will enter into the rescue mode. Immediately we need to run the command chroot slash mnt sys image command, then press enter to continue. So here I am choosing the second option rescue as sent OS system. So in this we need to choose option 1, then press enter to continue. Again, press one more enter. Now we enter into the shell. Immediately we need to run chroot slash mnt slash this image. So now we can see the file system latent information. Next step number three. To recover this last boot content, we need to reinstall the important packages with the force plea. For that, we need to mount this CentOS 7 ISO image using mount command then we need to install the following packages especially the kernel and grep2 and send os logos if you are having the red dot vm then you may need to choose red dot logos this all the three packages need to reinstall forcefully using these commands first step i am going to mount the slash mnt image for that i need to identify the my iso attached iso image the device name so here you can see the device name is slash dev sr0. So this is the device name. So this one I need to mount using the mount mount slash dev sr0 then mnt. Now it's mounted with read only more. We can run the slash mnt. So it is successfully mounted. Next step, we need to reinstall the three packages. So for that we need to switch into the slash mnt. Then packages. So here we can see all the RPMs are available from the ISO image. As we already know, there is no content in slash boot mount point. So now I'm going to install three packages to recover the slash boot content with the force option. The first package is RPM, iPhone IV, Edge, iPhone iPhone Force, then kernel, iPhone 3. Dot. So this is the first package you need to install. The next package is RPM iPhone IV catch, iPhone iPhone Force, 
grab two I find two press enter the next package is send to OS I find logos these are the three mandatory package need to reinstall now we can see the slash boot content let's say slash boot so we can see some contents are now available in this slash boot in step number four we need to identify the boot disk so by default in linux slash dev sga will be the boot disk suppose if you have the multiple disk if you want to identify which disk is boot disk we can run this command and verify so once this is done we need to install the grub on the boot device for that we can use this command once this is done we need to generate the grub configuration file with the currently available information for that we have to use grub to mk config iphone o then our grub configuration file location so this is for standard bias system and then we need to exit from the ch root and then we need to touch the iso image and boot up the system so first we need to identify the double, double disk so in my case i have the multiple disk attached to my system sd hdb hdc so i need to identify which disk is for used for os purpose so for that we can use cf disk command then slash dow sda and c so in this table we can see sda is the primary partition for the booting purpose then exit from this window try to install the grub2 install on slash dow sda so now no error reported the grub2 installation completed on the slash dev sda now try to regenerate the grub configuration file using grub2 iphone mk config iphone wo then output file location will be for the standard by system boot grub2 then grub.cfg so once this is done just exit from the ch root and type one more time exit now just go ahead and power up the system go to the settings and change the bias boot order change hard disk into the first then go to the storage section here you can detach your iso image if you want you can detach it just click ok then go ahead and power on the vm now we can see my system is booting with the hard disk basically for this kind of troubleshoot the system will reboot one more time so wait for that yeah now my system is successfully booted let's log into the system using putty console now i'm able to log in the system so now you can go ahead and see the slash boot pendant it is successfully recovered so this is the way how to recover this last boot partition content if you accidentally deleted i hope you like this video thanks for watching subscribe my channel